Hello, this is Mark Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. In the spring of 2010, Sandusky and Lakewood, Ohio were both slammed by a hailstorm. Several days after, many out-of-state contractors with names like Number One Hail Expert, Certified Hail Damage Construction, Insurance Hails Expert, and probably several other newly formed LLC roofing companies also slammed these cities. These out-of-town contractors with new local phone numbers and some all the way from Texas drove up in their big fancy brand new pickup trucks with their just made new magnetic door advertisements ready to milk and bamboozle the insurance companies. The local reputable contractors who all stand by their warranties, do good work, install good products, pay workers compensation, pull permits, had a hard time competing with out-of-state contractors who many times use underpaid help, install cheaper, poor quality products, and at times use scrupulous selling tactics. Some of these non-local contractors, similar to the 1960s overpriced vacuum cleaner or world book encyclopedia salesman, bought solicitation permits, which allowed them to go door-to-door, enticing people that their roofs and house siding were damaged by hail and that their homeowner's insurance would pay the full 100%. Soon after, the front yards of entire streets had front yard signs that resembled election month blighting every city block. These out-of-town, fast-talking salespeople sold hundreds of new roofs. Many times, nothing was wrong with the roof shingles, but because the area was labeled a disaster zone, all roofs may be covered 100%, including old roofs that were already deteriorated. The gullible insurance agents, who resemble Gomer Pyle, wrote checks to homeowners who many times already had old bad leaking roofs. The older the roof shingle, the more brittle, granulated, and less elastic they become. Therefore, when sky-falling hail hits these old, bad, brittle shingles, small, round divots occur. Newer roofs are not as granulated, not as brittle, and have better elasticity, would have minimal or significantly less damage. The insurance companies do not perform or require forensic roof shingle tests like thermal imaging, x-ray fluorescence, shingle millage testing, elasticity testing, nor do they climb up on the ladder to go look at the granules on the shingles or to see if granules are deposited in the gutters. I bet if you told an insurance adjuster that an overweight rooftop tap dancing green leprechaun with spandex that jumps from roof to roof dancing jigs was the one damaging the roof shingles, they would probably believe the story and pay out for the roof replacement. People with old roofs, even if they were leaking prior to the storm, are getting new roofs. People with newer roofs are sold brand new roofs that are probably of less quality. Some of the shingles being installed are considered defective by the roofing industry. Many out-of-state contractors are replacing perfectly good roofs with defective shingles that may fail soon. Some of these out-of-state contractors simply took the insurance money and ran back home to where they came from. Along with the fancy out-of-state trucks came rooftop laborers who do not appear to speak English and possibly do not know the first thing about roofing or ventilation. In Lakewood, the Border Patrol arrived in white and black vans with Rambo gear and pulled many of these guys off the rooftops and hauled them away. These non-English speaking workers installed roof membranes on 90 degree days. Walking at hot shingles causes way more damage than any hail. Manufacturers do not guarantee their products if they are not installed according to the manufacturer's recommendations. I have seen roofers install new roofs on old tar paper, use wrong size nails, poorly change attic ventilation, use poor nailing, install poor flashing, and other sloppy work. Many of the roofers removed old shingles before adjusters could see them and left the open roofs only with tar paper cover so now rain can enter the home. A home inspector or residential forensic investigator should inspect these insurance claim roof installations. I am quite sure that I will be getting calls from these areas to inspect bad roofs, leaking roofs, failed roofs, and expert witness inspections for many other defective hail damage roof installations. Remember one thing, 
When your out-of-town contractor leaves the area, so does your warranty. Thank you. This is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. Nutty buddy. So I bet you're selling a lot of ice cream today. No? Get out of here. You gotta go to a swimming pool, man. I know swimming pools up here. No. Yeah. There you go, sir. You gotta go to a swimming pool, man. I know swimming pools up here. No. This roofer's working. Yeah. See you later. All right.